What's up, peoples? What's up, peoples? It's your boy, MM2K. So, often I get, as you can imagine, a lot of my peers in these gaming streets come back to me and say, MM2K, come on, man, you gotta stop it. Stop with the lies. Stop with the over-exaggerations. Nobody's playing Stadia. And when they say nobody, they literally mean nobody. Like, there might be a couple hundred of y'all, a few handful of y'all playing this thing. But nobody plays it. it, nobody cares about it. It's dead, it's this and it's that. And it doesn't have a future. It's getting tossed in the garbage. And again, like I always tell you guys, I don't have a need to belong with anybody. I'm only looking for facts to try to grow and enhance my knowledge base. So I laugh at them and then I backhand them into oblivion with facts, right? Um, but Sometimes it's just, but you can go back and forth with people all you want and they're going to be rooted in their misinformation because they don't want to be anywhere else. Well, I'm not a developer. I just play the games. I just play the platform. I haven't seen what's, what works behind, uh, what works under the hood. But a major developer that has, has come out and said some very, very brow raising things, eye opening things about Stadia, its current state right now, in early access, why people that are sitting there judging this thing in early access are only fools, and that this thing has long-term investment embedded into it, and that it will, these are not my words, this is their words, it will blow your mind, okay? Um. I don't find that out of the realm of possibility. I just don't. Um, Cause as we know, we got a lot of people that just fit in the category if they don't like cloud gaming. I've had people come to me after I backhanded them with facts like I've said earlier. And they just broke down and said, you know what, you're right. I don't know what I'm talking about. I just don't like the prospects of cloud gaming. And I've had to reassure them that cloud gaming in no way, shape, or form is going to threaten what they like. You know what I'm saying? If you like dedicated devices, if you're a staunch believer of dedicated devices and y'all wholeheartedly believe that dedicated devices is going to be liked by the majority of gamers, then guess what? There's a market for dedicated devices. And it's not what? Going anywhere. So that type of backlash doesn't make any sense. But for people that follow foolish publications like Google Graveyard without looking in depth, without kicking the tires like people are prone not to do in this community and seeing what's all out there and why it's there and if, if maybe if a lot of the stuff, if not the majority of the stuff that's out there isn't compromised, uh, isn't, uh, um, isn't made up of uh, things that not have just gone away, but have been made up of things that have merged into new stuff. Like Picasso is on there now. Picasso is now Google Photos and so forth and so forth. You know what I'm saying? People don't look at that stuff, but that's okay because I'm here to try to spread the truth on the ground level. But if you don't want to believe me, if MM2K, MM2K don't know no tech, right? He don't know what he's talking about. If y'all don't want to listen to me, then y'all can listen to a developer, <laughs> to a developer that's seen what's under the hood. And I, again, this developer said that, I repeat, when you see the full gambit of what Stadia has to offer, when they get out of early access mode, it will blow your mind, okay? So, if you wanna know who this, public, uh, who this developer is, if you wanna see the article, the publication itself, where this eye-popping comment was made along with some other great comparisons and stuff. Head on over to Stadia Dosage. We have now started a conversation there where we're talking about all this, where we're making everyone aware of this article, something that may have slipped under people's radars because they think because there's radio silence and nobody's playing Stadia, Stadia's there, and that's not the case. Gamers that are playing the games, they are you know, going back and forth with Stadia about, hey, you know, we want to know news about more games and then we got news about Doom and that's great and I'll talk about that in a later video. 
But those gamers, they don't get here, go on Twitter and, and, and battle in the console war. They just play the damn games. <laughs> Which I wonder if y'all play any damn games. You know what I'm saying? But that's here nor there. Um, they're just playing the games. And they already know what it's capable of. And again, we have a developer that knows what's under the hood. That has, has experience with, with what's under the hood. And they have said that again, when you see everything that Stadia is capable of, when all that releases, it will blow your mind. So regardless of how you feel about cloud gaming, regardless of how you feel about Stadia, come on over to Stadia Dosage, be part of the discussion. So you can at least again do what? Argue from a place of knowledge. And with that said, that's it from your boy MM2K. Can't wait to see you over there. Come on over. Link is below. Join the discussion. Let's let's do this, baby. Let's talk about it. And with that said, y'all have a wonderful, wonderful gaming day.